Riders taking L's, man, in public, man. Some man don't play around, man. Um, <laughs> some man don't play, man. Um, let's see. <laughs> All right. Let's look at this crazy unhinged white woman. I did this specifically okay. for you fishermen. This is for you fishermen, man. It's for fishermen, man. I understand that people want to, you know, play the victim and be like, it's really hard to be white. It's super hard. It's super hard. People are racist towards us too. What does that mean? Okay. A person of color said they didn't like you because you were white. Okay. That's not racism. And as much as people want to say that racism isn't always systematic, it kind of is though, especially in this country. Because racism towards people of color has actually prevented them from moving forward. You know why? You know why you can't be racist towards white people? It's because we have generational wealth. People can hate me all day long for being white. You know? And it, it can totally bother you if people don't like you because you're white. That's okay. But you can't say that it's racism because you've never been held back in your life because you are white. And from your photo, I can see that you're probably a woman. If you've ever been held back in your life in any way, it's because you're a woman, not because you are white, okay? We have never been denied loans, denied housing, denied a job, denied basic human rights because of the color of our skin. And let's be fucking real. If there is a person of color in front of me being like, yo, I fucking hate you because you're white. They don't actually hate me because I'm white. They hate the history of this fucking country and they hate the privilege. No, they hate no, you. No, they hate because you're white. I, I you. Actually, you know what? They be honest. Is it, is it racism for me to hate her? Yeah, I, I think everybody hates this woman. She's a, she's a, she's a pretentious fucking piece of shit, man. I wonder um, who she thinks has the highest standard of living on average in America. Because it's not white people. Mm -mm. Send this woman to any country on the planet other than here. She, she would have run traveled. back to the Going white to man. Going to Mazatlan does not make you a world traveler. She would run back to the white man immediately and beg for forgiveness. Like Brittany Griner? Yeah, she would that be absolutely... The... White women would be absolutely... White women would be chained to a post outside of a hut if it were not for white men. Yeah. And that's been our mistake. Yeah, that would definitely be And if you're if you're if you're a glider queen listening to this right now, understand that you would be chained to a post outside of a hut and you would drink puddle water. So maybe you should figure out why it is you're so fucking mad and ask whether it's actually based on anything in reality. Probably more likely hormones. Or she's just bored. Well, you yeah. know, uh, so somebody once asked a bunch of really, really super rich young white kids from the Burbs why they liked Bobby Shmurda so much. And they said, because of the sh struggle. And they said, what do you mean struggle? They, they said, so, so what's your struggle? And they said, these rich white kids said, our struggle is we have no struggle. That's what that's what this woman's problem is. That makes she sense. She grew up. She probably grew up wealthy. Yeah, she person. doesn't know what it's like to be living to to be living in a in a trailer somewhere in Appalachia or West Virginia or something like that. You know, well, she has no have clue. Like four teeth combined, and you fucking right. She has, she has she has no clue. She has no clue. So she's never met a person. She's never met a person who had a problem with any money or anything like that. All of her little friends, they all went to private school. I mean, yeah. you can tell, you know? Yeah, because you wouldn't talk like that if you, yeah, there's no way you, you talk like this. Like, she she has definitely lived a sheltered, privileged life. And if you look at her, if this is her apartment or whatever, you can kind of tell. But this is, these, these women are so racist. I find what she's saying racist. Well, she, by, she's probably not, never known a person of color in her life either. By by absolving me of agency, of 
Like she, she, she's just basically saying, like, if I so me saying I hate her, she's like, oh, she, she's just it's dismissive. I hate you, bitch. Well, no, no, you don't hate no literal bitch. I fucking can't stay. I, if you were right standing in front of me, I would curb stomp you. Oh well, you know, you, you're just doing that because of um. No, like literally, I would poke your eyes out with a fucking sharpie. Like, no, well, you know, you're only saying that because, bitch, I would push you down the steps at the fucking Washington Monument if I could get my hands on you. But, I mean, you just don't. I mean, it's just basically you're just bad because of something else. Like, yo, know, it's just like she's infuriating. No, bitch, I really fucking hate you. It's not for anything else. I hate you. I hate your soul. I hate the person that you are. Have you have you listened to the uh, the Sun Cop? He was in. I don't know if he was in Oregon or Washington, but he was talking about during the summer of Floyd protests how like white women were like yelling yeah. at him and separating people that were separating some people that were trying to talk mm -hmm. to the police. Yep. They're fucking. They're fucking weird. No, yeah. she's. A, she's you want to you want to take a look at a real real racist? You're looking at her. Those that are yeah. true mammies. That's her. That's a racist. She doesn't expect anybody any anybody of color to be able to get accomplish anything on their own. Those are the yeah. true mammies. That's what that's what she even is. hate even hate. She doesn't even think you're capable of hating. She's the yeah. She's the worst of the worst of the absolute worst. And you know and 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 I'm willing to bet. Guess who lives next door to her? Who do you think lives next door to her? And on both sides of her house. And in that whole, she's in a nice, expensive condo. Who mm. do you think lives in that building? Lighters like her. Exactly. Who do you think lives within five miles of her? You know? Yeah. <laughs> this woman's a terrible human being. Um, I, 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 I have to admit, though, like, I hate her. Real. If there is a person of color in front of me, being like, yo, I fucking hate you because you're white. They don't actually hate me because I'm white. They hate the history of this fucking country and they hate the privilege that comes with the color of my skin and how I don't have to work as hard as they do. And I feel like that's fucking valid. And if you don't, I don't give a fuck. Here, here's the thing too, is trying to break these glider dumbass bitches of their stupid mentality is almost impossible. Yeah, like she ju she just said it at the end. I do not give a fuck about yeah. any facts or any reasoning that you have. I'm gonna stick to my position, no matter what. It's a she, hope needs, she, it's hope. she needs to experience actual pain. In yeah, your, she your is like these it. glider queens that talk like this. They are ego maniacs. Put them, put them in an airplane, drop them off in Afghanistan, man. Yeah. In fear, they've never actually been afraid of anything. Which means yeah. they never respected anything. That nothing yeah. would ever happen to them. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, fear. You got these, these women. Uh, I, I, I cannot stand it. I, I hate those glider women. And they're, they're a dime a dozen, man. This is not like a rare thing. Like I mm -hmm. know glider chicks like this, including in my own family. Mm hmm. Oh and yeah. You, you cannot believe, tell them shit. Yeah, I believe you 100%. Um, because I have fucking the black people you see on these shows, they're just like the black people in my family. Well, I believe. And it's there the bigotry go. of main, low main expectations. Event. Main event. Yeah, man, let's get into it. Well, we start with a crime story hitting very close to home. You're looking at pictures of our friend and meteorologist Adam Klotz after he was beaten by a group of teenagers on a New York City subway.